So I hear that you just got invited to your first party. Congratulations. Your value has finally been noticed by your peers and that your efforts to looks max to make yourself better to, to increase your value. Now those efforts are being rewarded with your first invite. But wait, you don't know what to do. You don't even know how you should prep. You're nervous for this party now because you don't know how you're gonna act. You don't wanna end up like a laughing stock at this party. I get that. No one wants to be that way. That's why in this video, I'll be giving you four ways that you can be successfully social at any party that you go to by yourself. Let's get to it. First things first, we gotta do some preparation. This requires Batman level prep time. You have to find four things. First, you gotta know what songs, what music is trending. Are they gonna play Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar for the 57th million time at this party? They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Or are they gonna play some reggaeton? Or are they gonna play some Afro beats? And if so, if it's either one of those three or any other category, you gotta know what songs are trending. Because you gotta be able to at least know how you're gonna move, how you're gonna dance to those songs. Because nothing's more awkward than sitting in the corner to a song that everybody knows, but you don't really know what to do in that instance because you don't know the song. Number two is the fits. You gotta understand what style of clothing is trending at that moment as well. Again, this depends on what type of party you're going to, but if it's a casual party, you don't have to wear anything extravagant like a three-piece suit or anything like that, or you know, a highlighter fit, for example, but wearing pieces of clothing that complement your body structure. Wearing a slim fit t-shirt and maybe some chinos and some nice sneakers. I usually go for Air Forces. Those usually never fail me. Nine times out of 10, plain white Air Forces seal the deal for any fit that you're wearing. You don't wanna wear anything too goofy that's gonna make you stand out and look weird. But again, if standing out and looking weird is your forte, then by all means, go ahead and wear that fit. <laughs> Just be prepared for the backlash you may receive. The third is that you gotta know who is going. Is it gonna be people that you know potentially? Maybe you can hit them up and tell them, hey, I'm going to this party. Get some advice from them. Ask them what they're wearing, what time are they going, what they're bringing. Just try to get in the know so you can feel comfortable because most of the times going to a party by yourself is the most scariest things you can do, especially going to a party for the first time. Or maybe that you found out that your toxic ex is gonna be there. You gotta find out some way, somehow, who is gonna be there. Whether that, be, whether that be asking the host himself who invited you or asking friends who may potentially be there. It's always good to know. And the last thing you gotta find is yourself. You gotta find that piece of courage that's in your heart to hype yourself up for this moment. Boom, Ooh. bam, oh. bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! You gotta tell yourself, I can do this, I can do this. I can do this. Look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you can do this. And by doing so, the nerves, the stress you feel by entering a party just immediately goes away. So before you go into the party, before you even get, before you even leave the house, look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you can do this. Say I can do this three times. You'll find out that you can legit do this. Do it. Just do it. All right, number two, you're now entering into the party and now it's time for you to find the host. The reason why you should always try to find the host first is because one, it's out of respect. The host invited you, you might as well just, just go ahead and greet him, thank him for inviting you to the party. And two, he will probably introduce you to a lot of other people that you weren't expecting to meet tonight. And a bonus tip for greeting the host first is that a lot of other people are watching. A lot of people will be watching you. And typically the host will be the main person of that party. And by law of association, by greeting the host and striking a conversation, people will see that and associate you by being close with him. Meaning that you and him are on the same level and people will wanna to talk to you more. They'll get attracted to you more. They'll think to themselves, oh, who is this guy? How does he know the host so well? And now you got people interested in you, but you never wanna show up empty handed to a party. It's usually courteous to bring gifts, whether that be a 30 pack, if it's one of those drinking house parties. If it's a birthday party, bringing a gift is mandatory. It just makes you look good. Number three will be to get involved. And this is probably going to be the hardest part because you have to work up the courage to actually stand out in a sense. There's going to be a lot of things happening in this party. There's going to be people talking, people probably making out, people drinking, you know? There's also going to be activities being played, potentially some Pong, or if it's a 
party with no alcohol in it, there will probably be a card game that's being played. Instead of forcefully working your way into someone's conversation, into Pong, or even into the card game that's being played, first off, stand, stand a little bit distant, but near to whatever is going on in that area without looking weird. Don't pry over someone's conversation or whatever activity is going on, but at least stand near them and try not to weird them out. Oh, a surprise party, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not much of a surprise now, is it? You know, if, if the fun part of the party is that it's a surprise and you eliminate all element of surprise, then it just becomes a party, right? After that, slowly wait for the opportunity to be a part of whatever activity when they invite you in, because they're gonna be able, they're gonna ask for more people to play. Or when a drinking game is being played, I typically ask, "Yo, who got next?" Or you mind if I hop in? But if an Uno game is being played, whew, oh boy, I'm typically ruthless in Uno. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. The king of Uno has come down to play. Y'all people are gonna get schooled. We are gonna get him out of here. He ain't, he ain't, he he wasn't he wasn't never amounting to shit anyway. He couldn't do nothing for our label. <laughs> I'm just joking. But if a Uno game or a card game is being played, if you got the courage like that, simply ask, can I play? Are you guys accepting other people to play? I mean, everyone's trying to look their best at this party and not seem like an asshole. So they're typically going to say yes. It's just that you have to take that leap of faith to at least ask. Ask and you may receive. And now that you're involved in whatever activity, you now got sort of like a pseudo fan base around you because people are now watching. People are always going to be watching whatever activity is going on. And now you got people watching you participate in that activity. Whatever girl you were eyeing up beforehand is now looking at you like, oh wow, now he's playing Pong. And he's actually pretty good. He might be he might be an interesting guy, who is he? Just don't suck. See, now that you've gotten involved in whatever activity that was going on, you now have the courage to pursue anything you want in that party. Getting involved is the hardest part, but now we're gonna transition into talking to some people. You already beat the status quo by sitting by the wall, drinking your drink or sipping on whatever and not talking to anyone. By participating in that activity, you now have the courage to do whatever you want now. And people, although they might not realize it at that moment, they subconsciously respect you and know you now because you did something that they couldn't do. They couldn't get out of their comfort zone and get involved with whatever. So now you're gonna go talk to some people, specifically the girl that you were eyeing up before. Now this has to be played very, very carefully. You're just coming off a hot streak of whatever activity you've been playing and winning for for the past couple minutes, and now you're feeling yourself. But now it's time to lock in and take that courage, take that energy you're feeling and pursue the woman you want to talk to. And what a lot of people I've noticed mess up on is that they think that a pickup line, a cheesy pickup line works. In my opinion, they only work 5% of the time. The other 95% saying this one liner works a lot better. And that one liner is, hi, I'm so-and-so, what's your name? People might think that's so corny. Like, oh, saying hi, saying hi in your name and asking for a name works. Joe, you gotta be crazy. I'm telling you right now, the easier and the more basic you keep it, the higher the chances of you actually starting a conversation with someone actually works. Because when you think about it, why use so much mental energy on thinking of a creative pickup line when all you have to do is simply ask for her name and start a basic conversation? If it's basic, use the least energy possible to ensue a conversation. Because most of the time, the hardest part is starting the conversation because people don't have the courage to start the conversation. And if she reciprocates the same energy by asking questions about yourself or you know, even noticing that, or even knowing that you were killing it in Pong, that means she's at least interested in you. So now you're in there. All you have to do now is just maintain and continue the conversation. And guess what? Other people are seeing that you are legit talking to probably, hopefully a decent looking girl. And people are gonna be like, wow, that guy's talking to a girl now. He he greeted the host, he was killing it in whatever activity was being played, and now he's talking to a girl now. Who is this guy? This guy must be Bruce Wayne or something like that. But nah, it's just a guy who subscribed to Joe Prodigy and constantly watching his videos so he can better his social skills. And obviously, it's working. 
so subscribe to get more content. Don't forget to download Kingsters 2, the free game in the app store that helps with your problem solving and decision making skills that allows me to prime my brain so I can make witty jokes in the spur of the moment when I'm talking to people. I'll also put the link down in the description below. And now that you got your first conversation out the way with a pretty girl that you like, hopefully you got her number. I guess that's a video for next time. You now have the courage to now talk to anyone you want because you legit just followed the process and now you can just repeat it multiple times now. I will say, as a friendly reminder, if you're at a party and there's alcohol there, please know your limits. There's nothing worse than making a fool out of yourself solely because of how much alcohol you drank. I know the liquor courage. I know far too well about that. But I also know that a lot of people make a fool out of themselves because of how much alcohol they drink. They make decisions that they end up regretting the morning after. So yes, please heed my warning and take care of yourself. Know your limits. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys liked what you heard. Please send to someone who needs to hear this before they go out to their first party by themselves. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share to someone who needs to hear this. Remember to sign up for a free one-on-one -on -one class with me just to sit down and have a conversation about what you can do to better your social skills. It's nothing crazy, it's literally just a simple conversation with me. I'll put a link in the description below. Other than that, develop a prodigy mindset and tackle your problems with everything you got. I believe in you. Take care. Peace.